everybody. So I'm here at Maker Faire and I'm finally running into cool people. One of the coolest ones here is Ianee here from South Korea. Hello, I'm Uni from South Korea. Nice to meet you. And she, now I haven't had a chance to make a video showing off what she does, but she is a Tinkercad pro. Ah, really? Thank oh, you. It's, it's true though. I love watching her videos and, and I've just been looking for an excuse to put her in one of my videos to show you guys all. So you guys need to check out her channel, but she's going to get a more dedicated video later. Because you're just, <laughs> you're amazing. You really are so good at Tinkercad. Thank you. Um, so here at, Ma here at Maker Faire, I'm asking people three questions. Okay. Question number one, what was the first mm -hmm. 3D print that oh. surprised you, that made you go, ah. So I, I have a picture here. Okay. Maybe can it says, do not disturb. Yes. Yeah, this one is my first work by 3D printer in 2014. First, ah. it's thick and then take a long time. So yeah. no. I changed the design to simple and then it take a short time to find. Yeah. Yeah. And then another design. Icon, so no language. Uh -huh. Anybody can read that and one. Yeah, door hangers too. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Then another design. Mom is holding a baby. So, my wife would love that one. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you have been given, you know, uh, uh, Elon Musk or, or Bill Gates. Uh -huh. They see your work and they're like, oh, we love it. We want you to make whatever you want. Unlimited money. You just have to like show progress. Uh huh. What would you work on? about that yeah actually last years I have a big travel to make a fair tour around the world yes if I get a lot of money actually last years I'm almost a beggar <laughs> to bother <laughs> all friends or family or country you would just do that again <laughs> do more of that but I'm um, a it? I went to stay on a uh, uh, super nice Hotel. Yeah. Uh, nice Good meals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I want to meet more people, more maker again. If I get a lot of money. Yeah. That'd be very cool. Okay. Uh, and question number three: Do you have a USB cable? USB cable? Ah, yeah. For charging your phone, yeah. Yeah. You got one right here. Yeah. Okay. One point for the for the halves. All right, so I'm at the Dremel booth with Mike. And I have to admit, I kind of passed over Dremel in the past because I thought it was you know, overpriced when I could do the same thing with a normal 3D printer. But two things sold me. One, your software is top notch. Your, your, your tool chain is great. And two, you guys got laser cutters now. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, but you are like, you're a super nerd, man. You love this stuff as much as I do. They brought me in because I was a 3D nerd, not even doing 3D. So they're like, hey, can you come help us? And, and yeah, and it's a full time job now. <laughs> well, and, and man, I just love talking with you earlier. But now I got just three quick questions for you. Sure. Okay. Number one, what was the first 3D print that you saw that you were like, whoa? Ah, uh, man, I started years ago. The first 3D printer I saw probably was a replica of a. Uh, the old school Nokia phones, the, the blue ones that never break, the yes. really old ones, someone just printed as a gag. I'm like, that's really cool. Like you could print a phone that never breaks and it's just really cool. Yep, yep, that absolutely. Was 10, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Okay. Pretty, pretty, yeah. So Mike, next question. You've been handed an unlimited budget. Uh, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, they've decided yeah. to fund you. You just have to show progress. Yeah. What would you work on? Um, Personally, I'd work on a next-gen printer that really knocks knocks the socks off of everybody. Like, I'd build a printer that I would envision as an advanced user. So these are great for, for starting as a, uh, you're starting out with 3D printing and you're going to higher education. Now you need a printer that does really cool stuff. And we talked a little bit earlier about all the cool stuff. Like, everything we talked about, that's what I envision for a next-gen Yeah, printer. yeah. Uh, du dual nozzles and, and auto bed leveling yes. and all those hot things. Hot swap, all the cool stuff. All hot swap, yeah. Yeah, yeah bigger nozzles. Yeah. Okay, so uh, last question. Mm -hmm. Have you got a USB cable on you? I I have one here, yes, and I also have Ethernet and everything else, yeah. So within reach, okay, yeah, there we go. One more for reach, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So let's pretend, take two, let's pretend like this was the first one. So. Okay. Hi, Joe, how's it going? Hey, Barb, hey. we finally get together. Hi, so Barb from Barb Makes Things, you guys have seen the video. If you haven't, uh, you know, 
link in the link in the cart. Um, but Barb's here with the Crash Space Maker Space, and I got three questions for you. All right. Question number one: Pretend like you haven't heard it already. What was the 3D print that made you go wah? The first See, 3D okay, print. Okay, it's been so long. Um, I think the things that were like really kind of drawing my attention at first were like. Uh, like the vases with the really cool patterns on the outside, yeah, or the just like holes and like super, and, like I want to. Oh, do the that. Veroni prints. And yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. The, the Zingoff's work is amazing. I absolutely love the work he does. Um, okay, so question number two. Uh, what was question number two? I've forgotten it already. Um, uh, lots uh, of money. Yeah, you get. Yeah, you get funded by Elon Musk. What, what are you going to work on? I'll say thank you first. No. Yeah. Uh, big thank you. <laughs> on the moon with a laser. Moon, yes. Uh, I probably. Oh, and there so, was an okay. evil laugh in world oh, domination. Yes. So give That's us right. evil no, laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> world domination. That's right. Yes. Um, no. Okay. What I think. So I work with kids, and so I think. And because okay, part of this part of this uh, this donation of a large amount of money relies on showing progress. Showing progress. And you want to see progress, you get more maker spaces in schools, you get more opportunities for kids, especially like underserved kids. Yes. Like that's gonna just like absolutely expand their minds, make them like be thinking better, thinking well, more. Well, unlimited money buys a lot of consumables. It's true. Yeah. It's true. No, I love that answer. I love that answer. Okay, and number three, and I already know the answer. But I already knew the answer the first time around too. Got a USB cable? Absolutely. Tons of them. Oh yeah, we've got. Uh, we brought this brick, this big five volt yeah. brick of uh, of USB slots because everybody has to charge Everything. their phone and all the yeah, things. No. Yeah. So check out who else I met here at Maker Fair. This is John Collins, the world, still world record still, holder. Yep, since 2012. That's right. Man. A uh, paper airplane guy, and you, you guys need to check him out on, on YouTube. So I'm going to modify the questions that I normally ask to people. Right. Uh, first question is, what was the first paper airplane that you saw that, that you kind of went wow at, that kind of changed your world? So it's one that a lot of people know how to make. Um, it's kind of a, a modified version of a plane that's called the Swallow, and it starts with a um, water bomb base. Mm. It's kind of an isosceles triangle on top with a couple of flaps. Right, I know the one you you're talking about. You those flaps to the corner, and then you end up with a really small triangular set of pockets that you uh, tuck yeah. everything into. So that was the first plane. My mom knew how to make that plane. She's yeah. like, she's the one who got me hooked. It's like the first one is free from your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it 100%. Okay, question number two. You've just been funded by Elon Musk. He loves what you're doing. <laughs> Unlimited budget, but you got to show progress. What are you working on? Oh, I would totally uh, do the, the National Paper Airplane Contest. Uh. So Singapore has a National Paper Airplane Contest, and uh. they involve uh, for not just paper airplanes. It's flight all the way from kindergarten through postdoctoral. So they, okay. do, they do drones. They do autonomous aircraft. Wow. They do balsa wood, you know, all, and everything in between. And you'd make that happen on an American scale. That's what I would do. Oof, good luck know, with that. Yeah, you'd need Elon Musk well, money to do that. There's 365 air and space museums uh -huh. or, and science museums, so it's not that big of a universe. And you just do the contest there. I, it's a very doable thing, Elon if you're listening, it's very doable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number three. Got a USB cable on you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. One, one more for it. Hey, everybody. I found Tom. You got, you just got here. You haven't been here all day, but you just got here. I, I was here all day. Oh, were you here all day? Yeah. These guys are bringing me in early. Man, well, you yeah. must have been enjoying it because I haven't seen you here. Oh, yeah. I've, been... I've had a good walk around. It's such a great show. Who is this? This is Adam. They're Adam making some 3D. really cool yes. Delta 3D printers. Yes, they're making their own and they're also making the $80,000 uh, Delta for Monoprice. That is, oh, well, I thought it looked similar to the Monoprice no, one. That is, explains it. Is it is that one. Yeah, yeah mate, that explains it. Okay, Tom, I've been asking everybody three questions. Question right. number one, what was the first thing that you saw or, or 3D printed that you just kind of went, wow, and you had to get into this? Oh, well, I guess the, the reason why I got into 3D printing was because I was into PC water cooling and I was just, just like, okay, I've got all these little angles and all these little bits that I could just print. Yeah. I never I never did. <laughs> no, that but, first, that, that that's, first that's ambition never out. happens. Yeah. Okay, question number two. You've just been funded by Elon Musk. Unlimited what? funding. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't know about that. But you got to show progress. What are you going to work on? Oh. Should I make Elon happy or should I work on, on the good of, of he, mankind? He trusts you. He trusts me. Education, I'd say. Getting people to make and to, to trust their own skills. I think that's that's kind of important. Okay. 
How would you how would you facilitate that education? Books, YouTube, or just like packets for teachers? How much money do I have? Unlimited funding. Unlimited. Man. Okay. You're gonna travel the world and do it all yourself? No, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna hire people and, and teach them. To that's teach. A, you know, it's it's this uh, multiplying. Uh, yeah, no, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Okay, question number three. Have you got a USB cable on you? No. Okay. I have it with me, but not on me. Oh, so you got it within re arm's reach. We'll count that as a yes, then. Yes. Cool, Tom. Thank you. I'm here with Joseph Prusa. Hello. And, okay, three questions for you. Number one, what was the first, like, 3D print that you saw or did that you were like, whoa? Well, that's a long time ago. I don't it remember. It for me, but, too. But I started to... I started to uh, I found out about 3D printing when I was building uh, music controllers, so probably the first snowboard fader was the woo! Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, question number two. You've just been funded by by Steve Jobs and, and no, no, not, not Steve Jobs anymore, Bill Gates and, and uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, whoever. They, they've decided they like what you do. You got unlimited funding. You just have to show progress. What would you do? So, first, First and foremost, we don't need funding, but... <laughs> Fair uh, enough. You're uh, doing what you love, man. You're there uh, already. And uh, I think uh, what we... What, what has the biggest... Uh, uh, or what needs the biggest love is to make the, all the 3D software more intuitive, so people don't have to have much knowledge. I agree. And, and, and design it, software, especially. Uh, I, I think design is mostly slicers and stuff, because okay. there is no, no slicer which tries to be... Uh, smart, so we are working on that. Yeah, it, it would be nice if the slicer were completely transparent and were just smart enough to, to print what you wanted. Yeah, you I know? mean, like it can give you some hints uh, on uh, what settings you should use, and yeah, yeah you, sh you, you will not print this uh, nicely from this material and start basic stuff like that can go a long way. Okay, question number three Have you got a USB cable on you? No. Anywhere within reach? Probably yes. <laughs> Probably yes. Okay, well, there you go. That's all I want to know. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs>knew my video quality was bad but hoy but hey you can help make it better low poly dino kickstarter launching soon mailing list link in the description sign up today